Okay, welcome to a uh, special Greenhouse Live that we're doing out here at Parramatta Stadium after the Jersey Flag Grand Final. Um, unfortunately, it hasn't gone our way today. Uh, we've got beat 16-14 in what was an uh, extraordinarily high-quality game of under-20s, I have to say. Um, unbelievably, it was scoreless in the second half. The half-time score of 16-14 stayed, stayed the same, and despite us having a lot of the possession in the second half and and really playing well. We uh, just weren't able to get those final points and um, yeah, it just wasn't to be unfortunately. So there's there's 17 boys in there that are, are pretty heartbreaking at the moment, but they should be very, very proud because the way this team improved over the course of the season from where they were come round one to where they've got to um, is an unbelievable improvement. And Ash Barnes, the coach and everyone involved should be very, very proud of, of the way they've played. Um, the game was actually streamed on New South Wales um, Rugby League and it was also on the New South Wales Rugby League Facebook page. So if you actually want to see a replay of it, if you're watching this, well obviously if you're watching it after the game, but if you want to go and catch a replay, I don't know, it'll definitely be on the New South Wales Rugby League Facebook page. So go and have a look at it there. It was, it was an extraordinary game really. Uh, I thought early on we probably came... We just didn't settle the best early on. We we scored early. Sammy uh, Valemi, who actually scored all three tries, scored in uh, in the first couple of minutes. And Toby Westercott kicked a great uh, conversion from the from the uh, sideline. But the next 15 minutes after that wasn't very good. We uh, they made a break, and uh, Harley Smith Shields chased their prop and gave away a penalty and, and gave and got sin binned and, and that, that was really, really costly. That was about five minutes in. And they they really dominated us over that ten minutes when when they were off the field. It's it's pretty hard in under twenties to uh, defend with only twelve on the field and, and they scored ten points during that time. And uh, and then got another try with uh, Harley, when he was back on, actually dropped a bomb, which was pretty tough to catch, and, and they scored again. So they were, they were 16 6 in front. We then really started to get into it again before half time, and Sammy Valemi scored another two tries in the, in the corner. Unfortunately, all three tries were in the corner, so uh, they were pretty tough conversions, and um, Toby's, Toby's missed both. Um, there's one right on half time, which he's which he's missed, and 16-14. At 16-14 at half time, I was really pleased with where we we're at. Thought if we could be disciplined in the second half, we would we would come right over the top of them. And discipline exactly was exactly what we were in the second half. We were very very good, and uh, we had a lot of chances, um, but wasn't to be. Unfortunately, I thought our bench, coming off the bench, um, Mariner number 16, uh, Valipu number. 18 and Jackson Stewart, who's, who's Ricky's son, um, coming off the bench were, were terrific in the second half. And we really did seem to dominate the game for the last 50 minutes, but couldn't score. And um, anyway, they held on to 16 14, or they were 16 14 up with about eight seconds to go. And uh, they ran to the sideline in celebration and threw the ball away. And I did actually think this uh, a couple of weeks ago when we won down in Melbourne, and Elliot ran to the sideline and threw it away. The referees paid a penalty for a deliberate forward pass, which uh, I don't think we've. I don't know when the last time we saw a penalty for that. We're just seeing everyone coming out of Bankwest Stadium at the moment. The the uh, New South Wales Cup Grand Final between Wentworth and Wentworthville, sorry, and uh, Newtown's about to start in the next half hour or so. So a lot of people coming in for that. A lot of people going home from Flag. So um, yeah, so forward pass. So we've had one last crack at it. We've had. Uh, Toby Westercott's had a penalty shot from about 40 metres out, probably about 10 or 15 in from the sideline and, and didn't kick it particularly well, to be honest, and uh, it missed reasonably comfortably. But, uh, yeah, it, disappointing, I have to say. We, we uh, would have liked to have got that one. Um, yeah, it was, it was uh, a game where I think we probably deserved to win, um, but, but unfortunately South were in front on the scoreboard and, and good luck to them. And, and just that first probably 15 minutes was the thing that killed us. Um, I, I, as, I, as I said before, I just, just think the, the improvement in this side from round one to where they're at now is just amazing. They've brought a few new players in. Kai O'Donnell and uh, 
Yeah, I always get this right, st wrong, Steve. It's Lachlan Lewis. Uh, back rowers came into the side mid-season. They really improved us, really gave us some, some starch. Um, but the way our forwards just improved all year, like guys like Tyson Hodge and Tom Robertson and um, Darby Midland, I mean, he, he's going to be a star, that guy. He's already played um, New South Wales under-20s. If you think um, the way Sean Fenson was coming through, that's, that's exactly the same thing that you should be looking for. Um, um, hold on, we've got someone wanting to come on here. No? We're outside the ground. Okay. Um, so, um, yeah, just, just the way our forwards have improved over the season um, has just been has just been phenomenal, I reckon. Um, and, um, yeah, Derby, I think, will be a, be a star. Toby Westercott in, in the halves um, is a very good player as well. Um, had a good game today. Obviously, um, we'll be regretting the kicks, but... There's, they were tough kicks. Every single one of them he's missed was a was a really tough kick. And um, Joe Roberts, the other one I would mention as well, coming in at, at um, five eight. Uh, Jarrett Sublu was five eight all season. Got hurt. I think it was against Manly. And uh, Joe's come in and and played really well and, and actually really given us some starch in in defence as well. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just just not quite. Not quite to be, and I have to say, when you think about it, and there was all the talk about whether the final should be played in in Canberra, you'd have to say, well, maybe two points, that'd be the difference. So, um, anyway, it wasn't to be, and uh, start of what's a very, very big week, but um, there. Now, I didn't expect we'd have too many comments um, coming through. Uh, yeah, Geordie Bates saying uh, Valemi is a good player, yeah, no question about that. Um, hurt his knee towards the end, and that, that hurt us as well, but he scored all three tries and was just like a freight train running through so um, very very good uh, but not quite good enough so we only plan to do a, a short um, greenhouse live um, today I didn't expect probably many people be waiting for us so um, we might wrap it up about there about flag but um, whilst the disappointment of uh, today we've got a very very big week ahead of us so um, for those who have probably seen, there's going to be open training in Canberra on Tuesday morning, which is just going to be fantastic at Canberra Stadium. That everyone getting out there to uh, support the boys before the grand final. We obviously haven't talked about the the opponent before um, on Greenhouse Live. We didn't know it on um, Saturday, oh, sorry, Friday night. Um, but the uh, Roosters got up last night, which was probably not a, a massive surprise. Um, I thought that was a pretty good game, um, but they were probably in control of the whole game, and it just goes to show. We'll talk about a lot about this during the week, but you know, if we want to be premiers, we're going to have to beat the best, and uh, that's what it's all about. So, on last night, I thought they were they were very good, the Roosters, but and they're going to be very very tough to beat. But there's no doubt that if we play our best football, we can we can take home the championship. So um, that's the excitement of the week. Um, yeah, open training uh, Tuesday. Uh, the players are going to be presented in Martin Place, particularly for those who are going to be in um, Sydney. Uh, they're going to be presented in Martin Place on Thursday. Um, not too sure what time that is, but um, for those who are going to be around this week, look, let's just really enjoy the week. It's going to be a massive week. Um, we might try and do a couple of different Greenhouse Live things. We, we've never been in a grand final week to, uh, to enjoy, um, but... Uh, we're going to enjoy every single minute of this. So until then, we'll say goodbye from Parramatta Stadium. Not our day today, but uh, let's hope the next Sunday, uh, if it's a close game, we're on the right side of the scoreline. And, well, it'll be the biggest greenhouse live ever. I don't know if we'll be able to talk, but it'll be the biggest greenhouse live ever when we win. See you then.